Hey everyone, it's me Courtney. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are on Tiger Lily, my half dark, half light magical island, kind of witchy vibes. Here is my map. I have Dom, Hopper, Tasha, Nan, Blanche. Portia, Daisy, Shino, Punchy, and Sheldon. Sheldon was my first ever villager, so he doesn't really match. He would not leave, so he is stuck here and staying, I guess. So, first off, we will start with my light side. Right over here is my little farm next to my house. I'm sorry that my mail is, is kind of full. I don't like checking it, so it's always going to be full. Right down here, right over here is Punchy's house. And if you go to my beach, you just run past a volcano and see Dom's house. I didn't really decorate my beaches on this island. I don't really like decorating them, so they remain natural. And we're gonna just ignore Sheldon fishing because he won't leave and it's kind of irritating. Okay, and then you run into my little orchard. I just wanted one of every fruit, so I just stuck them here. And. Then we run to Daisy's house, and if you run through the orchard pasture house, you run to my picnic in front of the campsite, and my moon lake. And next to my moon lake is, of course, Blanche's house on the peninsula. Then let us run all the way back. Past her house, and if you go up the stairs, you just run to Shino's, and past her house, through the trees, kind of hidden away, is the museum. Okay, let us run back to the main path, and you run to this little witch's cauldron. Where are this half white roses, half black roses? This where the uh, light and dark halfway point happens, where they meet. So let's go over the bridge to the dark side. I didn't really do much in this area. The dark side I had a little bit of trouble with. I prefer making my islands all bright and cheerful. But here's Hopper's house. He didn't really, his house doesn't really fit all that well, but I made it work to the best of my ability. And then I have this little witch's stall where you could get your fortune told. And then I have this little Sheldon's house right next to it. Put him there because their house is he house kind of matches with Hopper's, a little more of a warm tone. And right here I have a seating area in front of the fountain, so you could rest your legs after walking this far. Then you could just follow the path, and then you run into Shasta's house. We are not going to go see her, that's okay. We go across the bridge then. You just kind of see we have a little bit of an alien evasion issue. We are kind of working on it, but that's fine. So let's go back down the stairs. We have this other cute little sitting area. And if you go over this bridge. You run to my next cranny and some of the ruins items in this Porsche's house. Okay. 
Okay. Let's just walk past all this water and items. And you run into my little spiral island. I was very proud of this build. It's, I still think it's very cute. Probably my best build on the dark side. So let's go over this bridge back to the resident services. And then we could go here. If you climb up this vine, you get this cute little view in the distance of the museum. And all the foresty trees in the background. Okay. And then you could go across this bridge onto this cute little island. This island was the second build I done on this island. And it stayed, so still like it. Okay. And now we're back to my house. Okay. My house is not decorated. You'll be very disappointed if you walk in. So, I would not recommend it, but you could do whatever you want to if you come visit. Okay. And if you go you could go to this beast. This is the only beast I decorated. I just put this big dragonfly there because it was near water. One of my favorite things to do in this game is waterscape. So, it's one of the best spot fillers in my opinion. So, that's what I tend to do. Here's Abel Sisters. They're selling a little bit of a wedge outfit. The maze dress and the hat. And here's a horse actually pulling a covered wagon. Wagon. Okay. I thought it was funny in the moment to put Nan on top of this cliff by herself. You call it the vent, the vines to get up. But it's funny when she is up here looking sad because she doesn't know how to climb. And there she is working out like a queen. Are oh, you tired already? Okay, this is all there is to my island. I haven't really done all that much to it. I just wanted to show you guys how it looked and everything. And here's my map again. And there's my dream address in the bottom if you want to come visit. Please do. Do you think it turned out all right? Okay, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and restart since it's already a dream address and this video is not gonna be long if I don't restart today. And I really want to restart. I restart all my islands since I say to my dream addresses so I could visit them whenever I want anyways and you know I'm tired of looking at Sheldon's face he would not leave and honestly if I get him at a sort of villager again I'm deleting this game Okay, I don't know for sure what kind of requirements I'm looking for. Um, in the slightest, I'm just going to see what comes up and decide if it's going to be good for me. Honestly, if I don't like any of my starter villagers, I might just restart. Just because I don't really want to look at them. And I don't never leave like little Sheldon did. Is this my first time applying? Yeah, it sure is. Okay. 
Um, even though my name is Courtney, I like naming my in-game characters Noelle, my middle name. And I don't spell it as my middle name spelled. I make it longer because my middle name is only four letters long. So I think it's four letters names kind of look weird when you're reading. Okay, and my birthday is December 20th. Yep, let's see. Yes, there I am. Okay, and they're gonna take a picture of me. I am a female, and I'm kind of pale. I don't really worry too much about making my characters look like me, but I always go with the same hairstyle and color at the beginning. And I think these little eyes look really cute. I don't like this outfit though. <laughs> That's okay. Yep, I think that looks good. Let's see if they give me a good mouth now. Okay, that one is interesting. It's kind of far. It looks like it's kind of right in front of the airport. So that's interesting. Okay. The rest of it's not really bad. I like where the river mouse are. The peninsula is not awful. I do not like the river mouse on these two at all. And this one is too close. So I'm going to see what happens with this one. I do not like oranges at all. So if I get oranges, I'm not keeping the island. It's oranges. I am not keeping this island, everyone. <laughs> But I can at least see who the starter villagers are before I just completely abandon them. Oh, they are not bad. I kind of wish I didn't have oranges now. But I am not keeping that fruit. I know the fruit is not really that important. It just shows up in your passport. I just... I still don't want it, to be honest. <laughs> But that's okay. Okay, these are not too bad. That one is a definite no. I don't like the river mouth placements. That one's not bad. It looks to be kind of line. I don't like the river mouth placement on that either, so those two are out. This one's okay. Okay, between these two. I'm gonna go with this one because it does seem a little bit more centered. Even though it being centered is not that big of a deal for what I want. What I believe I want. I didn't do that much planning with this island. I just know what kind of general theme I want to do, but I don't have any builds actually planned yet, so I'm just going to be winging this as I go. Ooh, we got apples. Apples are acceptable. So unless I get horrendous starter villagers, this is probably going to be it. Okay, they are not bad. I could, I could live with this. A yellow airport. I don't remember what kind of color furniture variations I'll get with that, but... We have... Harv's Island to uh, change it. So Phoebe and um, Jin Jinji, I think. 
Yeah, okay, I was right. I honestly never seen him in game before. I've seen Phoebe plenty of times. Okay, it's pretty centered. I think I think there's it the one. Okay, Tom. What do you want from me? From me. But God, I need to place my tent first. Okay, and you're gonna get me the map, right? Okay. I like putting all my uh, buildings on the beach as much as I can at the beginning. So when I do start building, it doesn't cost a whole bunch of money to move everything. And it's not in the way for what I do want to build. So let's see. Yep, this is a perfect spot. Okay. Yep, I set up my tent. Now, Phoebe, how about I place your tent on the beast also? Okay, I got you. You're gonna find the perfect spot or on the beach. Yep, this is the spot. Okay, Genji. Sorry if I'm mis mispronouncing his name. I'm not very good with words. <laughs> so, please don't be hateful if I can't say his name. <laughs> oh, he, his nickname for me, Emoji? That's honestly very cute. I find you the spot. Oh, trust me, I'm gonna do plenty of heavy lifting on our friendship. Okay, I find this spot. Okay, that is the spot. We're good. Okay, you want the tree branches and the apples, right? Doing this as a let's play, it's just gonna be... Whenever something interesting happens, I'll play. Um, the only time I would really play off camera is when I'm gathering stuff, like furniture and materials and stuff. I do try to cheat in this game. I try not to cheat very much at the beginning by time traveling. But I do time travel like a crazy person. And I do use treasure islands to get my stuff. If you don't know what treasure islands are, it's a modded island that they put stuff into the game they could just take home with you and stuff. I find that's easier to grab stuff because it's very hard to get items in this game. So don't hate on me when you see that I cheat because I'm telling you now it happens. I cheated since the game first came out by time traveling and then after the game been out for a little bit I started doing Treasure Islands. So I never really play the game legitimately just so you know and I don't think I could start now especially with the whole waiting for buildings to move and bridges to be built and kicking out villagers and I don't want my plots to refill automatically with some stupid villager I do not want and have to kick out in the future 
So, just telling you, if you stick around, I appreciate it during this adventure. But if you don't want, if you don't want me to cheat, it's gonna happen. <laughs> okay. Not, I just I decided on a name if it fits I hope it fits I think it's very cute I just I'm gonna name it Sun Valley I think it's very cute and I think it does match I even if I do something more city like I do try and keep it natural with flowers and stuff. So, I just, I thrive on natural islands. I did try city core before and I did have some trouble with it and it's kind of just disappeared off the face of the earth so I can't even show you what I accomplished with it. Okay, so I suggested Sun Valley, and of course they loved it, because why wouldn't they? Okay, it sounds great, absolutely perfect. Yay, we're now called Sun Valley. Okay. And I'm the kind of person to say a word or two. I'm a very sarcastic person. <laughs> okay, cheers. Drinking our random juice from the apples. You know, it might be poisoned. Okay, I think I'm going to go to sleep for the night. I'll go do that. No point staying up. Okay, time to go to bed. See what my camera cot looks like. was on that to cut that hermit crab <laughs> I think I'm gonna change my time back to normal after this video just so I'm not too off of real time Okay, got a red camping cot. Cross like a stalker. Wonder what he wants. Okay. My new life is underway. I can do whatever I want, except for I'm in debt. I'm always gonna be in debt. <laughs> Okay, as for the theme of this island, I think I'm going to do it kind of country-like, but also kind of like a city, if that makes sense. I don't really know how to put it into words. It's going to be more natural, but it's going to have some structure to it like a city. It's not going to be really cottage core. I'm probably not going to use the path. I'm probably just going to use kind of like roads but I don't know I haven't really done much planning I just thought it was a cool idea kind of like farm core but kind of not probably not gonna use red all that often I might use these apple trees cuz it's kind of country like so I got the perfect fruit for this island but what can you do 
So, I'm glad you guys decided to drop in for this video. Hope you like and subscribe and push that boost. This is Courtney. See you next time.